a lot of seaweed underneath there. It's about, I would say it's more than two meters high. Riviera Maya's worst kept secret. So, what exactly is sargassum? Known to many as seaweed, sargassum is a genus or type of brown macroalgae. So, why is it such a problem for Riviera Maya? Since 2011, spring and summer has seen huge quantities of sargassum decimate the pristine white beaches of Riviera Maya, an area of Mexico's Caribbean coastline on the Yucatan Peninsula, leaving beachgoers contending with pungent smelling piles of decomposing seaweed. It also affects communities and businesses up and down the coastline of Riviera Maya. The mainly affected sargassum areas are the shaded zones shown here in gold and red. However, the red zone south of Cancun is considered the area of Riviera Maya. Travelling down Mexico's Caribbean coast to its southern border with the country of Belize, our first stop is at Cancun's Hotel Strip. The scale of the problem becomes apparent, showing aerial views of mile-long floating bands of seaweed bound for the beaches of Riviera Maya. Aerial views of the hotel strip showing a lot less sargassum than Riviera Maya's coast. The hotel strip is approximately 7 miles on the main ocean front and around 14 miles in total length. Cancun's hotel zone is what most people consider the picture-perfect postcard image of Cancun, with multi-million dollar real estate and multi-billion dollar tourism industry at stake, which is why it's so important to keep its beach as clear as possible to keep the tourists coming. Hopping south to Caracol, the seaweed problem becomes very real and obvious. So we're just at uh, Caracol uh, on the coast, about maybe five miles north of Puerto Morelos. On over there, you can see this looking south of the Yucatan Peninsula. There's a lot of seaweed underneath there. It's about, I would say it's more than two meters high. It's higher than me. Uh, and then it goes all the way along. So this, uh, this channel here to here, was all seaweed by about uh, two and a half feet high yesterday and it's all been cleared however it's left all this uh, uh, it's million it's stinking so if you look at this here it's uh, rotting it's uh, rotting seaweed and it's really nasty I was in a couple of days ago in the sea and it was like swimming in urine, it was absolutely rancid. Uh, definitely not the uh, turquoise waters of the Caribbean you see in the brochures. It's a bit of a letdown. Uh, it's not the hotel's fault, the sargassum seaweed problem, however, uh, the hotel have not cleared it for six days. I've been here for six days, so it could be longer. But today's the first day it's been cleared and it's just left, uh, well, it's nasty. I paddled out using a kayak despite the resort being reluctant for me to do so. However, I wanted to investigate more closely the state of the sargassum and see firsthand the floating barriers put in place and to understand how effective these were at stopping the seaweed landing on the beach. The pungent odour of ammonia and hydrogen sulphide hangs thick in the air and really difficult to ignore. It is particularly bad on this stretch of coast and some hotel guests reported falling sick after swimming in this brown water. I did go for a dip myself into the murky water and also fell ill the next day. Shortly after taking these pictures, I was followed to my room by hotel security. I spoke with more than a dozen resort guests who told me that the wedding they attended, which was meant to take place on the beach, but due to the large amount of rotting seaweed, had to be relocated to the hotel lobby as no other rooms were available at the time. At least 15 guests from their wedding party reported that they had fallen ill with diarrhoea and vomiting within days after swimming in the brown water at the resort. Heading south to Riviera Maya's main town and centre of Playa del Carmen. It is situated halfway between Cancun and Tulum. It is a huge draw for tourists and the gateway for ferry crossings to the island of Cozumel. This is what the pristine beaches used to all look like before the sargassum arrived. The sargassum problem is now so big that it is costing the local economy around $120 million per year. Hopping south from Playa del Carmen, we come to Acamo, known for its turtles. Here, 
The beach cleanup is an ever constant affair, where the hotels now charge a sargassum tax, charged per person, to employ people whose only job it is is to rake up the seaweed, normally forming large piles, to then be taken away in wheelbarrows. Some hotels are better than others at doing this. Sargassum clear up teams seem to have a thankless task as the ever present seaweed is relentless with wave after wave of new sargassum landing on the beach. With workers who have just cleared up one area of beach, they are now having to clear up the same area again. It's almost midday, uh, 30 degrees Celsius. Behind me is uh, all the beach, it's lovely. And there is a little bit of sargassum seaweed. It's not much, it's getting cleaned up, which is quite good. Uh, so these guys behind me are doing a really good job at the moment. A bit of surf coming in from the uh, Caribbean and uh, yeah it's been cleaned up. The issue I raise is further up north that way uh, you've got a for example we came from the Azul Beach Cancun Resort and that was terrible they didn't clean it up at all. Up here uh, or rather down here on the Riviera Maya uh, they are all actively cleaning it up. Compare these scenes of sargassum free and clear waters more than a decade ago. Going south from Akamo, we'll hop over to the town of Tulum where the beaches have a huge sargassum problem. So we're in Tulum Beach. Uh, if you look behind me, the lovely Caribbean Sea and then behind me is the sun. Over there is Tulum. This water used to be clear. The brown water is actually caused by decomposing seaweed and the whole beach smells of rotting eggs. This beach is in stark contrast 14 years ago with turquoise waters. Staying in Tulum two miles north at Tulum Ruins. The following scenes you can see is what the beaches at Tulum Ruins looked like prior to the onslaught of the Sargassum. Idyllic white sandy beaches, tropical picture postcard scenes which adorn the front of every travel agency, with clear turquoise waters, fresh ocean breezes is what draws everyone to this famous spot. It has been photographed millions of times and is in every travel brochure. Unfortunately today, the sargassum has clogged up these beaches, leaving behind a soup of brown water. Unfortunately, these beaches now look nothing like how they used to be, and the fresh air has been replaced by the pungent odour of rotting eggs. Leaving Tulum, with three hours drive south to Chetimo on Mexico's southern Caribbean border with the country of Belize. Caribbean waters in Chetimo are mostly clear due to being protected from sargassum by the massive lagoon formed by the large land mass which comes down from the north below Tulum by the Sea and Can Nature Reserve and by the coastal towns of Mahoal, Xcalac and over the Belize border to San Pedro. Looking south from my hotel balcony, you can see the jungle of the north tip of Belize which is only a couple of miles from here. So I'm um, walking along to the Chetimo Lighthouse. It is absolutely scorching today. I mean, it must be about 32 degrees. Um, I'm used to it, but there's a slight sea breeze. Lots of little fishes in the sea just over here, over here, right? Chetimo sits bordering two sides of a lagoon. The light yellow brown color is actually lagoon mud. Large pelican footprints embossed into the lagoon mud indicate good fishing grounds safe from the sargassum. If you are thinking about booking a trip to Riviera Maya, please carefully consider your holiday options first. Travel companies' main focus are driving sales and putting bums on seats. Travel companies know people buy with their eyes. A quick look online will confirm the brochure pictures of your hotel will look amazing. But what's missing from those pictures is the seaweed and the brown water. Do a quick online search for different hotels up and down Riviera Maya and you will see what I'm talking about.
There will be no seaweed or brown water in any of the pictures, even although this has been an escalating problem since 2011, which is now present 10 months of the year. Pictures are often outdated and may be altered, hiding the seaweed, trying to portray a better and more saleable product, showing lush beaches and clear waters. Ultimately, Cancun and Mexico's Riviera Maya is a multi-billion dollar tourist industry. This is why most travel companies use mis-selling tactics, such as price control, fake seaweed maps, fake reviews, pushing sales and outdated images. Average cost of a holiday being close to £6,000 based upon two people travelling from the UK for two weeks, which includes modest spending money and a number of excursions. While most Mexicans are welcoming and very hardworking, the big sargassum problem is very real and certainly going to get worse, negatively impacting your holiday. Consider travelling elsewhere as there are many other options with actual pristine beaches free from rotting seaweed. However, if you do decide to go to Riviera Maya, do your research carefully and do check many of the live webcams around the area looking at the colour of the sea and the amount of seaweed on the beaches. Read at least 10 pages of reviews on each of the main review websites, which should help sift out most of the fake reviews. One thing is certain, with each year getting warmer, the effects of global warming are impacting upon the sargassum blooms, and unless the Mexican authorities can actually handle this issue and stop the sargassum clogging up the beaches, then the Mexican tourism industry on the Yucatan may dwindle to the point where the masses stop coming. Photo, video, Drone, available for hire. Check out cdfimages.com.